Hey ladies, how are we doing? Welcome to day one of the uh, five day workshop. I am so excited to go through this. The last round of this was epic. You know, it was buzzing, it was fun. Um, and you may be thinking, how can you say that working through anxiety, our triggers, our pain, how can that be fun? And it is, it, there's some challenging moments and there's some things that come to the surface that I find, you know, we, we struggle to sort of like digest and deal with. But the community element of doing this together over these next five days is just gold because you realise that you're not the only one that feels this way. And that there are lots of other people that feel the same, similar to you, despite having a very different background. Anxiety can get us all, you know, in very similar ways and create a reality that we really relate to. And we feel lost and we don't know who to talk to, who to turn to. Our friends and our family, our, those people in our circle don't understand it and you don't feel able to talk to them. So you just feel stuck in this cycle of anxiety. But the group um, workshop that I ran last time, and obviously what we're going to be doing this week, um, it is just a perfect opportunity in a safe space. This is a safe space to reach out, talk, no judgment. You can ask anything. There's no such thing as a silly question. There is absolutely no fear to be had in sharing in this space with us. It's what it's all about. And every day I'm going to be coming on here and talking to you guys and saying, you know, um, a theme for the day and a task, a tiny little task, nothing major, nothing overwhelming, but just something that will get you to start thinking outside the box. Let's break the cycle of anxiety and do it in this environment where you're supported with me and with the other ladies in this group that are going to go through this with you too. So commit to it make time for it. I've said it quite a lot, um, but for those of you who maybe haven't heard me say it, you know, nothing will change until you make, make those changes. So just remember that. Tiny tweaks in your thought process, tiny steps forward in the right direction can have huge, huge impacts in our present reality. How we talk to ourselves, how we treat ourselves, how we behave, it's very easy to stay stuck in that negativity because even though we're miserable and feel really low with that high anxious state, it's still a lot safer to be there than maybe step out of that comfort zone and start making some changes to make things better, to make things different and to create that happier, less anxious headspace um, and, and you know, you're present. So the week is going to go pretty, you know, along these lines, I will release a video like this of a morning and you could just watch it 10 minutes because no mornings are really busy especially with the kids hanging off every limb <laughs> and they're not quite back at school I know some people may have different times in school holidays etc and um, but at some point this morning you will read these videos watch these videos and you will um, take the task and then you've got the day to do it okay so remember be accountable here yeah accountability is key because when we're accountable there's not much room for anxiety so you know own it own this week and allow yourself the you know the time to work on this self-development um give yourself permission today to do this don't be feeling guilty that you should be spending your time on washing the dishes or other things for other people you know this is your time this week is here for you. And this is the time to start breaking that cycle of anxiety, that pattern of thought that is keeping you in the negative, anxious space, all right? So do the task, which I'll go through in a minute for today, but every morning I'll release the task, release the theme. You've got all day to do it. You can ask questions in the group and I'll get back to you, you know, tag me um, and I will get back to you and help you along the way. And then I'll go live every evening um, as well so that you can ask me any questions and we can talk through it together. And, you know, you may be somebody that has been in this group for a while um, and soaks up all the information, but doesn't necessarily speak out and reach out and interact. And that's fine. So if you're in this challenge now and you're feeling that you don't necessarily want to share what comes to the surface in the tasks that we're going to go through or share how you feel, don't worry about it. Um, you know, it's fine. Just be accountable and be committed, um, you know, to every day for these next five days. 
because then you'll start to see that transition and that step forward um, with your thought process. But if you want to share, please do. You know, if there's one thing I can take away from previous um, group workshops, it's that the more into action, more active you are, um, the more you contribute into your own journey of change, you know, um, the more you're going to get from it. It's like anything, isn't it? The more you put in, the more you get out. And the community element um, and the friendships made in these next five days, you know, because that's what happened on the last one. There's girls that have made huge friendships um, and done more work together and move forward on their journey um, since the five day workshop. So, you know, use this time. Let, you know, say to yourself now, I'm doing this. I'm doing this for me. My partner can wait. My husband can wait. The kids can wait. Friends and family can wait. This is my time this week. I want things to be better. I want the anxiety to do one and I want my life back and I'm going to get it. So, you know, say that to yourself. You deserve this. Dump the mongrel and put yourself first and let me help you do it. I'm here. Lean on me this week. This week is all about this workshop. All you have to do is reach out and tag me. OK, just tag me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with help, support, advice. And then, like I say, eight o'clock UK time, I'll be live in the group and you can ask me anything. All right. So that's going to be for the next five days. That's going to be, you know, the, the guidelines, so to speak. Obviously, a bit of flexibility there with children, with life, etc. But that is my plan and my intention um, of how the week is going to go. So let's get on with today then. Um, we are going to start at the beginning, okay? The beginning is you, okay? What is it that you want to change? Want is key. If you say to yourself, you need something, I need this, you know, you're not going to fight for it like you would when you say want. The language you use to ourselves is so important and it changes one tiny sentence from being one thing to something completely different when you just change the words that you use. But the unconscious mind drives and pushes you to get the feeling that you enjoy, that you want, that you're achieving, that you're doing. It's, you know, that's what it's searching for. It's for the evidence that we're getting things done. So when we say to ourselves, this is what I want to happen, and this is how I feel when it's going to happen, then it's going to, the unconscious mind will, will push for that to come to the surface and will help you create this new go-to behavior. So this is why doing a mind map and the language we use in it is really, really going to be helpful to you. Because what we're going to do, a lot of ladies have said to me in the past, why go through what causes my anxiety? Why go to that painful dark place? Why go and revisit things that I find very, very scary and don't particularly want to revisit? And I'm not asking you to do that, so to speak. You know, this isn't therapy, this is coaching, this is getting you to put a step forward in the right, in the right direction. Um, what it is to do is to get you thinking in the areas of life that I'm gonna share with you in a moment when I go through the task, what comes to the conscious when you actually pause and you think about something and think, right, okay, that's going on at the minute. That's going on at the minute in my present reality. And that is triggering my anxious behavior, my high anxious state, my panic attacks, my, my feelings of you know, low mood and that I can't do things, I can't achieve, I can't do this, I can't do that. You know, all that negative self-talk. So when you think of an area of your life on my mind mapping, and you can see when you bring to the conscious what actually is going on. Because once you know what's going on, you can figure out how to move forward. So that could be by letting go of a painful memory, a painful, you know, something happened to you, PTSD, um, domestic violence, you lo a loss of a loved one, you know, lots of things happen to us. And then anxiety tends to sort of come as an aftermath. And if that's one of the triggers, then once we know what our trigger is, we know that we can work on that area and implement these tools that I'm going to be able to share with you um, to move forward and let it go, leave it in the past. Because what happened in the past is in the past, it, it's gone. And if you hang on to it for dear life, you can hold, you know, you could lose 20 years of your life because you're hanging on to the emotion to the pain of what happened in the past now obviously we're human we're not 
robots so it, it's fine to feel allow yourself to feel by all means but what's key is how long we allow that to happen and affect our lives our present living um, so it's all about reframing our thoughts tweaking how we look at things and implementing the how focusing on the can so I always say a busy head is no place to make decisions you know you can't see through the head fog and those choices that you make not aren't necessarily going to be very good because you can't bring it all down you can't chunk the information down and start in the right direction from from the point that you need to move forward from so using your journal or this template that I'm going to show you is really going to help clear this and help you focus on these elements of your life that I'm going to talk you through in a moment um, and get to to know these root causes of your anxiety what are your triggers what is going on in your present world that is making you feel so rubbish and keeping you stuck in that cycle of anxiety? All these emotions that you have in your unconscious mind, all, the, all these feelings, should I say, these thoughts, um, these things that have happened to you, it's in this huge, huge filing cabinet in the unconscious mind. You know, have you seen Bruce Almighty, top film, and he opens a filing cabinet and it shoots out and there's just file after file after file of, you know, stuff. That's like your unconscious mind. Whereas the conscious mind holds only seven pieces of information at one time. And that's why we have to do things consciously sometimes to bring things to the surface because it's all lost in the unconscious mind. So that's our focus. We are bringing to the surface some root causes, triggers as to what is going on in our present day, because then we can figure out how to move forward from it and leave it. OK. So what I want you to do is you can either print off a template, which I'm going to share in the group for you to access. It'll all be under day one um, of the five day challenge. Um, or should I should say five day workshop. I've changed it from challenge to workshop because I felt like challenge was a too strong a word. Um, you know, it's just a little workshop. It's simple. It's not overwhelming. Um, it's manageable when you're so busy doing everything else. So I just really wanted to share. Um, and, and change that word, so to speak. So turn to your journal or print off the template. And I want you to think somewhere where the children aren't about. And I know that um, they're off school still for many, so it may be a bit more challenging, but think how you can make it happen. Okay, can somebody look after them for an hour? Um, can you set them up with a film for an hour um, and snaps and just you know create the space that you need to do this? Okay, make it happen. Think about the camp. So thinking about four areas of your life, okay? Get your journal or the template and start with one of them. So let's go with love to start with. Love is all your relationships with everybody, your, your friends, your family, your work colleagues, every single relationship with you, you know, your children, everything, okay? How is that going? Is there something with somebody else that is fueling the anxious state that you're feeling, you know, those anxiety attacks you're having, the negative thought processes, the, the self-doubt and, and the loss of confidence. Is there somebody around you that is really not helping, is fueling that thought process and keeping you stuck, feeling rubbish? What is coming to the surface when you ask yourself that? Who's in your life at the moment that is probably, you know, a huge cause as to why you're feeling the way you're, you're feeling. Um, it's very interesting on this one. And normally when people do this, a lot of the time there's always somebody, it's a friendship that's toxic. It's a family member that makes you feel like crap and always puts you down, makes you feel not good enough, not worthy enough. You know, past, past traumas, somebody, you know, domestic violence or assault. There's just so many things that come to the surface when we think about relationships with other people. Um, and maybe you've not realised that you thought you had a really lovely friend that you've lent on for a long time or you've, you know, you've got this friendship that you'd be lost without. But when you actually bring to the conscious mind the friendship and think about it, it's quite actually toxic. And that person is sucking your soul out of you and you actually didn't realize that they're not actually a friend I feel like I'm saying actually a lot there but they're not a friend like you thought they were and that maybe how you deal with this relationship needs tweaking maybe you need to actually take a step back from it 
And it's not selfish to do that. Sometimes it's very much needed. It's, it's a huge necessity. And it's empowering when you do, because you think about yourself and you put yourself first. And doing that gets rid of anxiety. So think about that with love. And then if we go on to wealth, wealth is anything financial or gifts, you know, um, money gifts, finances, winnings, anything at all. Is there something going on with finances that's fueling that trigger of that anxious feeling or you know, the, the panic? What is going on in your world right now, today, financially, or maybe money? Um, I've had an experience recently, you know, somebody's passed away and there's, there's money left behind to be dealt. Um, and then it all goes boom in the face, doesn't it? And everyone is uh, pulling at this pot of money and then the, the relationships get affected and it just becomes an absolute, you know, negative space to be part of and, and very traumatic. So it could be something as deep as that or it could be as something as, you know, little as, I, I don't know, I was trying to think, um, Anything linked with finances, what is coming to the surface when you think about it? What is there going on that could possibly be fueling this thought process that's creating the behavior that's then creating the reality that you're not happy in right now? So the next one is health. So health, it's not just mental, it's physical as well. So both elements of health. What's going on physically? A lot of ladies in here, you know, have said and, and shared that they have chronic illness um, or that they've had an accident and recovery. There's lots of elements with physical illness that affects our mental health and our mental state. And it's the same with the mental health. What's going on there? How are you feeling when, you know, you're talking to yourself? How are you treating yourself? Are you even looking after yourself? I always say feed your mind the good stuff. If you're constantly feeding your mind the negative um, talk, the, the um, no confidence and the self-doubt, you are not going to feel great. So health-wise, what's going on physically and mentally when you think about those elements of your present day? What is coming to the surface when you, know, you think about those connections with your anxiety? And then finally, self-actualization. So this one, 99.9% .9 out of, you know, everyone in the whole universe there's always something here because we never treat ourselves the way we should we will help a friend we will help a stranger and go above and beyond but we won't do it to ourselves and that's what we need to tweak so when you know that your bucket is overflowing you've had no headspace you've had no time away from the children no time for yourself how do you talk to yourself how do you ask for help when you know you need it? And I think personally, through experience of my own and through working with other, other ladies, we often feel like we can't because we're scared of judgment, that fear of failure, and then the whole mum guilt kicks in. But if you actually tweak how you treat yourself, it can be a game changer when it comes to anxiety and getting rid of it. So self actualization is anything to do with how you are with you. What do you allow yourself to do? What do you do for yourself? And I don't mean going to the toilet and having a wee in peace or a hot cup of tea. You know, what do you go out and do that is just for you, your time, your space to be who you are? Yeah, no one's partner, parent, friend, family member, just you. And do you talk to yourself in a way that fuels the anxiety and fuels the self-doubt? How kind to yourself are you? It's, it's a really, really eye-opener element, um, the self-actualization, because so much comes to the surface because we never stop and think about that, do we? Until we consciously make the effort. So that's what I want you to do today. Use your journal or use the template that I'm gonna put in the group and print that off. And I want you to go away and just get rid of the kids, sit in a quiet space, and think, ask yourself these questions about the four areas of life, what comes to the surface when it's linked to your anxiety and how you are feeling, what are those triggers, the root causes, and what I'll do, if you could upload into the groups throughout the day what came to the surface, share with us, because another thing about sharing is somebody else could feel exactly the same and be so petrified to tell somebody that, but then when you share it in this safe 
space, this confidential safe space, nine times out of 10, what happens is someone else goes, oh my God, yeah, I feel the same. This happened to me. I feel this way. And then you've got the connection. You've got the door open to talk. Talking is key. Talking is a huge step forward in the right direction. Talking saved my life, guys, saved my life. And it does. If you don't talk and say it out loud, then we can't fix it or change it. And then it just goes into a very dark place. So those of you who are part of this group and just soak it all up but don't necessarily interact, have a go at sharing. Have a go at sharing with us here through this week what is coming to the surface through this task and how you're feeling and what you're finding are your triggers and your root causes to your anxiety. And I guarantee another lady in here is going to go, I feel the same. And I, I, I feel exactly, you, you know, you're speaking my words. It's like reading about myself, you know, all those things, that realisation and that relatability. That's one thing I wish I'd had in my darker days that I had someone to talk to and someone to say to me, it's not you, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. And I was surrounded by people. I had lots of family, lots of friends, but I was miserable and lonely because I couldn't talk to anybody. So don't be like that. Let's do this together. You know, I'm here, use me. This is a week for you, okay? And I would love it if you just took that step forward, that scary step, forward and interacted and shared because that way we're going to get you through and get you to those light bulb moments and you're going to make the transition of the change okay so I will be here all day um, like I say tag me um, in, in your questions your comments and in the feed and I will get back to you as soon as possible and I'll see you back here later on today eight o'clock UK time and you can ask me any questions and we'll just have a chat through what's come to the surface throughout the day with this mind mapping task for day one all right guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you tonight <laughs>